How's it going? Well, welcome to Behind the Scenes. Thank you, Barbara, for my glass glasses holder. Today might be a very entertaining show because of the fact that we have a squirrel here that I cannot catch. <laughs> and he keeps popping out in the oddest places and scaring the daylights out of me. So, anyways, leave a comment, say hi, say where you're from, and I'm going to need your help today. Hey, Melody. <laughs> okay, let me see if the software's working today. Yay, I can see your face. Nancy, great to see you. Lynn, all right, so I'm just testing this real quick. I tested this in the group earlier. You guys probably thought I was crazy, but I just wanted to make sure it was working. It's still a beta version, so if it quits working, oh well, what do you do, right? It's it's live. Well, today might be a very interesting live show because I was going to show you what I'm working on, which I'm still going to try that. But first, I'm going to set a trap. I set a trap. I don't have a cage, but I found some yarn, and I'm thinking that this kind of looks like the squirrel, right? So maybe he'll think this is like a friend. He'll make a long tail. Wynn said that I should have a pet squirrel and put it on the floor and maybe they would hang out. So I have the squirrel and now I have a bowl, some food. I need a vote here. Uh, let's see. I have some nuts. Squirrels eat nuts, right? So I'll put a little bit of nuts in here. Oh, I hate to waste these. They're so good. They're peanuts. These suckers are expensive too, but all right, we'll put a couple nuts in the bowl. You think they have a preference of walnuts, almonds, or peanuts? I'm not sure. A few crumbs. Oh, I can't spare to give that walnut away. Those are the best. All right, so we got nuts in the bowl. Do you think that they will, um, do they like crackers? You know, I love squirrels. I just don't want them in my studio. I feed them on my back porch at our house. But I like having that little screen between us. So I'll put a few crackers in there. Maybe he'll like those. Do I have to break them up? You think they can eat the whole thing? We'll just, we'll break them a little bit. Make sure they get the nuts on the top. What about, um? you think they like goldfish? That's all I got around here. Nah, we'll save these for fishing. All right. So here we go. Chocolate. Do they want chocolate, do you think? We should put maybe a Hershey Kiss in there. Oh, I got to unwrap it, don't I? I remember, Mom, if you're on here, the day that your dog ate an entire thing of Hershey Kisses with silver. That was not so pretty for your yard, and I'm thinking that wouldn't be so pretty for my studio. So, all right, here we go. We got crackers, peanuts. All right, bear with me here for a moment. I actually had on really cute sandals today, but when this thing came out, I've, I'm sporting some big old boots now because if he runs across my feet, I'll have a heart attack. So let's see. If I put it over, where can you see it? Oh, you want to see what I'm embroidering? Okay, I'll show you. But where can you see it? If you can let me know if he shows up. Can you see that? All right, and here's his friend. I'll leave that there. Now, during the show, I'll sit over here so you can see. If you see a squirrel come over there, you have got to let me know. I've got my feet in the air. I'm freaking out, but it's okay. I mean, what are they going to do? Eat me? But <laughs> I just don't want to get bit. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. All right, so back to the show. All right, I've got my glasses. Wynn went to go get something for me. I have no idea what. And then I, I need my um, earbuds, and I can take you with the phone, and we'll go downstairs and see if we can catch this little guy. So great to see you all again. Some of you I haven't seen for a few weeks, so it's great. I'm glad you could pop in today. All right, so do you want <laughs> peanut butter? Yes, they love peanut butter. Uh, mixed and salted. Mixed and salted. Yep, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, not the salt and oil nuts? Oh, well, that's not going to do any good. That's the best kind. <laughs> All right, peanut eaters. <laughs> you guys are hilarious. 
oh, I know they love birdseed. And you know what? If I don't catch him today, I have a whole thing of birdseed at the house and I will go get them. So what happened was yesterday, I had some girls from the high school come over and we were um, making some handbags, which no, I don't usually teach her, but we were just, uh, it was just a fun project with some friends. And one of the girls says, um, you have a squirrel in here. And I said, no, I, they always come up to the window and do the high five thing. So I'm thinking that she saw it through the glass window. She's like, uh, no, he ran right by and then went downstairs. And sure enough, today I was in my office working on this new pattern on my CAD software, just focused on the computer, and I heard a bunch of boxes crash. I thought it was wind in the shipping area. It was not. I come out, and we looked face to face. The little red squirrels, too. So I haven't named them yet. If you have a name, feel free. Jan says, take out the chocolate. Steve says, perfect. <laughs> Oh, you have a heart trap. Okay, Jan. Well, you're down there by my dad. So if I have to drive down there and pick it up, well, hopefully we just get rid of him because I have the front door. Okay, this might not be so wise. I have the front door open, which I'll take you there in a minute because I'm hoping that he comes out of the basement and out the front door. But now that I have the front door open, he's probably calling all of his buddies and saying, hey, let's go hang out. <laughs> oh, this is not going to be good. All right, you want to see what I'm embroidering? Come on over. I uh, can't hook you to my phone until Wynn gets back with my earbuds, but let me just show you. Take you a little walk here. So you're saying to take, take the chocolate out, huh? All right. So check this out. It's going to be very difficult to see. So here you go. Here is my lace designs. You're going to love it when I tell you where this is going. Can you see that? It's all white. Now this time, I'm not embroidering on tulle. I'm embroidering just on the washaway stabilizer. Okay, so I just have, looks like I just have two more to go. And then I'll show you what this is for. So I told you I was trying to figure out what to do with my other Linda tunic, so let me go grab the dress form. If I scream for any reason, it means that this little guy is over here. Hold on, I'll go get the dress form. All right. Okay, while we're talking about this, some of you asked again about dress forms. If you saw, Joe left a note in the group that he is working on Dancing with the Stars right now. And his new dress forms will be out pretty soon, I believe. So, Joe, we're looking very excited about that. All right, so let me take this comment off the board. Here we go. <laughs> uh, oh, are we going to be in the final four this year? Hey, Scott. Well... We were doing pretty good for the North version of fishing. We're talking here, for those of you who don't know Scott. And guess what? We blew an engine. We're out. We're out for the rest of the season. Totally out. Very depressing, but hey, at least uh, we had a whole part of a season. We're fishing the last tournament with some friends of ours on Sandpiper up in Manistee. They asked us to fish with them, so awesome. But the Winning Angels officially out for the season. It's like hitting the corner in the uh, Indy 500. Hey, Wynn. Good. Okay, so, uh, hey, you guys, say, say hi to Wynn. Wynn, what do, you think of, uh, what do you think of the concoction down there that I've put? That's a poor excuse of a squirrel, Ash. You think that's a poor excuse of a squirrel? <laughs> He's not going to come out. Yes, he is. <laughs> okay, so uh, <laughs> All right. I got crackers in there. I got peanuts, chocolate. Well, good luck on your squirrel. Well, we're coming down. You're going in the basement, right? I'm checking it again. I'll go down one more time. You guys want to follow in? Okay, squirrel, we'll work on this top in a minute. Let's go find Win. All right, now I'm I'm a little worried because I have. Do you need boots on? And, Gloves? And he's squirrel. He's laughing at me. He says it's a squirrel. No biggie. All right, guys, let's put our earbuds in. Let's go follow the squirrel. Hey, Terry. <laughs> Fran, your squirrels have taken the macadamians off of, wow, that's pretty, that's a pretty strong squirrel. All right, so let me open this up. Okay, here we go. Here's the show app. I'm going to make sure that we're on here. 
Gotta love technology. All right, let's go look for that squirrel. See if I see can. If I can. No echo. No okay, echo. Thank okay, you, thank you, Karina. You're, Karina, so, you're good. so good. You're so fast. fast. All right, All right so I don't, I don't even need glasses, glasses for this guy, so, so I'm gonna just carry you guys around. around. Let me switch, switch you around. around. If you're hearing any noise, it's probably, probably the embroidery machine. machine. There's another view. That's that noise, by the way. Okay. Turn this down. Let's take a look. If I lose you, we'll go back upstairs. All right. So this door's open. Actually, let's open this door. We should probably keep this door closed. And then we're going to open this door to the outside. And I'm going to just put a little... Oh, sorry about the ring doorbell. Okay, ready? Here we go. Where is he? Oh, hey, Wynn, Sandy says you're the best CEO ever. <laughs> He's laughing. All right, back to sewing. <sighs> Did you leave the door outside open so more critters could get in? Vicky wants to know. <laughs> well, I was thinking he might leave, but you're right. I don't know. I'll leave that in Wynn's hands. We'll just put him on security guard. Okay. <laughs> Danny says if she likes it enough, he'll invite his friends. That's what I was thinking. Okay, so this is my Linda. And some of you have been asking, how am I going to finish this? Well, a few of you finished this without the neckline, which is bias. I love the neckline, so I think I'm still going to add the neckline. I'm going to add some embroidery through here, and I think I know which one. Hold on a second. First off, what I'm embroidering right now is some white lace. This is black, but there's white in there. And I did not embroider it to the tool. I want to see what it's like as just freestanding lace. If I don't like it, I'll use it for a gift. And instead, I'll embroider some on tool. But this is where I'm going to attach it. I'm going to cut the sleeve off a little bit shorter, maybe to here. And then I'm going to attach this. I only needed four to get around my wrist. So it won't be this big. It'll be like this. And I'm going to attach it right here. So it'll actually, the sleeve will probably go to here and the lace will go to here. Just like this. But all in white. I think that's going to be gorgeous. And then for the neckline, this is what I'm going to use. All right. For the neckline... I'm going to embroider both of these in white, and it's just about the right length. And again, it's just going to be the freestanding lace and not on tulle. So I can either put the shirt in there and embroider this right on the shirt or embroider it and then attach it. I haven't decided yet because I really like the look of it, but I just I haven't decided if I'm going to embroider it right on the top or if I want it to be more on the inside of the top where it's see-through. If you have any opinions on that, feel free. But this, again, is a white brayon that I got from Vogue Fabrics. I like it a lot. Sorry. Every time I hear a noise, I'm peeking around. <laughs> Melody, you like it? I think that is. Oh, don't worry, Marcy. I think Wynn shut the door. I better check. I think Wynn shut the door. Oh, yeah. The door is shut. Definitely. And I think I'm just about out of thread. So some of you asked about the outfit that I was working on last week. Let me bring that over and I'll show it to you. Hold on. Move this guy around. I'm moving very cautiously. Hold on a sec. I'll grab it. Oh. Of course, I ran out of thread, but at least it'll be nice and quiet now in here. So this is what I was working on last week. This is mesh. So it's different than tulle. Remember, it's still see-through, but this makes a great bathing suit cover-up or something for sportswear. So I'm actually making, I was going to make a bathing suit cover-up, but 
I'm thinking I'm just going to make a white camisole, which I showed you how to do on It's So Easy TV. And then I'm going to wear this over it. So right now, this is attached to my sticky back stabilizer. And this is all the embroidery. This is the back side. The purple line, I marked that so I, when I scanned it in on my machine, I could actually see where to put the embroidery because you couldn't even see the white mesh. It was that clear. So now I have this whole side of the top to make. So I'm, what I'm going to do is cut around this, cut around everything, even the bottom, because I'm still going to add embroidery on this half and a little bit at the bottom. I'm probably going to go a little asymmetrical on this because I don't want it to be totally even on each side, but I still have this whole side and then the bottom. Again, I'll embroider that, and then I'll wash the entire thing away. I'm hoping to have it done by the weekend, and if so, I will pop into the group and show you. So I think that's going to be kind of cool. Some of this might be finished before tomorrow's uh, The Fashion Sewing Club. We have our live members only tomorrow, so don't forget about that, by the way. All right, so let me bring up some of these fashion trends that have been going around. You're going to laugh really hard at this. Okay, by the way... I just got a confirmation on, we have two giveaways going right now. One is ending at the end of the month, and that is a sewing machine by All Brands. If you haven't signed up, it is if you go under contest on Angela Wolf. And Fashion Sewing Club members, there's a giveaway for you. You don't even have to enter. It's as long as you're a member with current standing, you are entered to win, by the way, the My Lace Maker software plus My Lace design. That's a big package right there. 400 500 almost $600 worth. So, um, yeah. Hey, thanks, Wayne. Thanks, Eileen. Fashion Club is going to love that. I wanted to give that away because right now I've been embroidering so much and everybody keeps asking, where did these come from? So in case you missed all the stuff we were working on in the spring, it's time to rehab some of that. So good luck, Fashion Sewing Club members. And uh, if you're not in the club, join us. We have a lot of fun. And we also have a private Facebook group that we'd love for you to join. So... Um, Dorothy says it'll be a Victorian top. Yes, I totally agree. Very cute. Okay, so let me show you some trends that are coming around here. And Denise is new from New Zealand. Welcome. And Kelly, welcome to the Fashion Sewing Club. I saw that you're in there too. So trends. First off, if you're if you really want to know some of the trends that are coming. For the next few weeks in the club, I'm going to be showing a lot of what's going on, and you can ask for your favorite designer, and I'll show it. I lost my glasses <laughs> already. So let me just bring up a couple that I thought you guys would get a kick out of. This is just a little preview of what's happening, but I know some of you say you don't have time for all that. You just want a quick rundown. Let me just bring this up. Let's see. Connect. Where's my screen? Hold on a second. Here we go. We're going to share this screen right here. Don't you wonder, by the way, I mean, I'm in marketing, so I don't wonder, but it's a little freaky when you go to a certain website and they actually, the ads post something that you were just talking about. It completely freaks me out. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can bring this up. Come on. Here we go. It should show up here in a second. If it doesn't, I'll try to bring it up a different way, but it should show up. Oh, thanks, Barbara. <laughs> hey, Walter, great to see you. Don't forget, we got a class reunion in October. Jane said she'd love to win that. All right, so uh, my screen, let's try a different screen. Why don't we, don't you love when the software doesn't work? I think it's the squirrel. He might've cut the cord, right? So let me bring this up over here and see if it works on this side instead. By the way, do you have a favorite trend right now? Have you been following this at all? Because there are some pretty cool things coming out. There are some also not so cool things coming out. I wouldn't say not so cool. Everybody has their own taste in fashion, right? Okay. Remove, remove. Uh, maybe it's not going to work today. Let's see. How else could I show you this? Um, <laughs> I 
<laughs> Glenda said it's a little scary. All right, let's try one more way to do this. Now this worked like a charm earlier. Go figure, right? All right. Come on up there, mister. Well, if it decides to show up, I guess it will. I don't know. There we go. <sighs> okay. So first off, what is your favorite color for fall? I'm just curious because I'm, when I mix colors, I'm a little, I don't know what would be a good word for it. I love the blacks for fall. I love the browns and the creams. I add a little bit of color like in this photo right here. Look at this jacket. I love the blue by itself. I love the purple by itself. I just don't like them together, but that's my personal preference. But here's some of the fashions. These are from the runway on, uh, let's see, is this Fendi? Yeah, just to give you an idea. I always look at the couture side because then what you do is on the runway, those are supposed to be, I mean, they're outfits that you can purchase, but also a lot of times they have some wow factors where they tone it down before it goes into stores. So I'm showing you this. If there's a certain designer you want to see, let me know. But especially if you're in the Fashion Sewing Club, because tomorrow I am going to show various designers. So if you have a favorite, let me know and I'll look it up. But some of these, I just want to bring this closer. Look at this fabric. And the reason I brought this up is, okay, that's sheer fabric. You can see. Oh, I'd have a hard time not embroidering on that. But this one here, I could not figure out. I'm thinking it almost looks like a rain, like a rain fabric. Fran says she's a go-to for um, the mustard and gold colors. Susan, you can't do orange and brown? What's your best color, Susan? Just out of curiosity. I can't do a lot of these, but I can, like, like this green I love. Now, why won't it, like, narrow in on the fabric? Because it just won't. It looks like rain fabric. That's all I can think of. All right, so let me see if I can bring up a few more that I found on here that you might like. This one's interesting. Do you know what this reminds me of? Mom, are you on here? I swear you or dad had a jacket just like this when I was growing up. Steve, I know you're on here. Tell me, did our dad have this? I'm thinking, I'm thinking so. Okay, make sure you keep an eye on that over there for our squirrel. <laughs> I'm thinking that is so 80s, even 70s. All right, what else do we have? Here's another one. We're talking about trench coats, which is the next style that's coming out of mine, by the way, but uh, it's a little toned down. I've got some great fabrics for it. I'm even going to do one out of a plaid, which is going to be kind of fun. Uh, did you, hold on, keep yourself company. I'll show you this one fabric that I found downstairs. I have like three more of them, so not much. All right, so I found this downstairs, and I had just purchased this before I moved in the spring. This is, let's see if I can bring myself up a little. Here we go. There we go. This is a plaid, and you've probably seen me talk about this before because I originally bought this to do the Evelyn dress and an Evelyn jacket. Would this be super cute? You could play with the plaids a little bit. So they're cut into five-yard pieces. And that's how they're sold. So it looks a little expensive on the website, but it's for five yards. It's a blend. So it doesn't have too much wool in it. So it's not itchy for me. And then I found this. And this is what I'm thinking is going to be great for fall because I love black and white. This is like a snakeskin. And guess what? It's right on trend. But the fabric's a little shiny. It's a blend of a whole bunch of stuff, by the way. So don't ask me the content. I have to go look it up. <laughs> this one's one of those technical ones. That's not just wool or something like that. There isn't wool in it at all, actually. But this is also cut into five-yard pieces, 60 inches wide. But I want to show you this. This is the backside. So it just looks like a regular, maybe a tweed, but the front has a little shine. 
So this, it has a little bit of drape. It will be a great raincoat. This is also cut in five yard pieces, which I don't know if you're going to need that much. It just depends the length. But it would also make a great Evelyn jacket. And so that's what I'm working on that. But actually what I'm finishing up today is the plus size for the Evelyn. I'm finally mastering the plus size. I told you I've been practicing on the 3D dress form, which tomorrow in our live Q&A, you'll get to see some of that, where I can tell this 3D form to morph any size. Sounds kind of like a weird thing, right? And it'll turn around. It's very cool. So, Joanne, you're forever stuck on black and white. Me too. But I think you win on that, Joanne. Because you're always wearing black and white. I am too, but you win. But you look good in black and white too. Yellow spring, not fall. I know. Well, nowadays, I, the rules don't even apply anymore. I, I've seen white jeans be the most popular in the middle of winter. This is so funny. So you'd think white jeans, right? Good for summer. Remember the old rules? <laughs> and I'm definitely going to release it far from my place, by the way. Danny, but I think his whole family's out there because they always come up to my window. Squirrel. All right. It used to be white jeans or white pants at all. The rule used to be after Memorial Day ends at Labor Day. Well, that those rules don't apply anymore. In fact, last year, one of the hottest trends was white pants, white slacks. I just bought a gorgeous white wool. But this is the funny thing. If I ever go to grab clothes to bring to Florida in the wintertime, you would think, okay, you're going to grab white jeans or anything like that. Nobody down there wears white jeans hardly. Well, at least not the places I go. It, they're still dressing like it's winter <laughs> in the Midwest. So it's kind of funny how that goes. You know what? If you like it, wear it. That's all I got to say. If it looks good on you, wear it. <laughs> all right. Uh, Mary said that last one would look good in that jacket. Yeah, because there's the jacket behind me. That's the new pattern coming out. That would look very cute in that. I totally agree. Glenda, did the squirrel drop the magazine on the floor? No. Do you want to know what's under the magazine? So because this used to be a bank, there's like three holes that go from here down. So I'll show you what it is. You ready? I didn't want to fill them in because I might actually run some cords down there for extra power. Now, if he comes out of here, I'm going to freak. Uh, actually, I'm going to use my foot. See? That hole goes to the basement. So, I figure if I put a fashion magazine on there, he'll either become fashion with us or he won't come up. Wind's going to get a trap. We'll have this solved by tomorrow, I hope. I don't know about 11 a.m. tomorrow morning when our live Q&A is, but this could get a lot more fun, right? <laughs> Darlene, winter white. I love winter white. Yep, that is the rule, Susan. It used to be. All right, so let me show you. <laughs> Joanne, I have the reputation. All right, so let me find. I, there was another collection in here. You know my favorite, favorite. I've got a ton of favorites, but I was going to see if there was any. Um, okay, here's Armani. So do you remember me talking about uh, Armani used to be one of my favorite designers. And when I was doing alterations for customers, I was altering one of their jackets. I think you know, it was like a $2,000 or $3,000 jacket. And I thought, this is a, an expensive jacket. So anyways, I, I flipped around and I was like, hmm, this, this looks pretty good. But inside there was nothing except a little bit of fusible interfacing, which is amazing. Just a little bit of fusible interfacing. That's it. So I found that to be, you would think, you know, sometimes you always think there's so much inside of those. It's a ponytail holder in case I got to fling it to the squirrel. So here, check this one out. See if I can make it a little bit bigger. Not there. Here we go. This looks like a very interesting fabric. See that? It's textured. It's embroidered. So even if you don't necessarily like the style, it's still about getting inspiration for something else. I know what you're probably thinking, but I'm not going to say it. It is kind of a really fun jacket, though. It's a zipper jacket. Sleeves are a little bit puffy, but I love this fabric. And you could totally design your own fabric on this using embroidery that's in your machine. 
Nothing special, really. This looks like a beautiful drape. Here we go with the winter white. Again, this is the fall fashion show. I think it's still fall. Yep, 2019 fall ready to wear. More white. Interesting zipper. And we've got a lot of oranges and reds. I know, Susan. I totally agree with you on that. She said she was expecting a little bit, you know, sewn-in support, like the old tailoring style. Now, maybe in their couture side they are, but in the ready-to-wear, no. Uh, Tina wants to know how she can get the comments for this. You know what, Tina? I um, It depends what phone you're on. Anybody in the Wolfpack want to help her out? Tina wants to know how to get the comments to show up. It's something on your phone where you click on something and they can show up or go away. Hope that helps. <laughs> hey, Angie, great to see you at work. Fran, a lot of cut work. Cut work is beautiful. And those of you that have the scan and cut, that's what I'm working on now is cutting a skirt out for the hem. It's so easy. <laughs> Literally, it's so easy. Okay, here you go. That's a, in, I don't mind those color combos. This looks like a very soft jacket. Very easy to sew. No structure whatsoever. If you haven't noticed, a lot of the outfits are getting, they're very, some are very tailored and then the rest are very loose. It's amazing how it just goes through trends. You've got the real, the higher waisted pants and then you're going to end up with a wider leg coming out if it already has actually. Then the tops are going to get shorter. It, it's just, it's just how it rolls. Now remember, if it doesn't look good on you, don't worry about it. Wear whatever looks good on you, but here's just some more inspiration. That actually looks similar to this fabric right here. All right, let me see. I'm going to bring this down for a second. See if I can find. I, I think they were all out, but I'm not totally sure. I was looking for my fave, which is Chanel, but that would not be in the ready to wear. That would be in the couture side, which is not on this page. So that'll have to wait till tomorrow. But yeah, a lot of inspiration. So uh, by the way, if you're going to start going into the higher waisted pants with the wide leg, we'll talk about some styling tips next week during our behind the scenes show. Because first off, with the higher waist, with the buttons in the front, things like that, if you're short waisted, that can get very uncomfortable. The jeans I'm wearing, I purchased, they're high waisted. They pretty much go to my rib cage. They're not very flattering but I like them and they're comfy. <laughs> but if they were much higher, they just wouldn't work. If you have any questions on that, leave it. Oh, you guys are talking. If I turn the phone sideways, I don't have them. If I turn the phone, the phone up, you get the comments. Thanks guys for helping her. All right, so let's go into, I wanted to show you some of these things that we were, um, in case you missed this last week. Let's see, bring this up, both of us. So did I catch this fish last week? No, it was the week before, because if you missed it, we blew an engine in our boat. But that fish was pretty big. It was about, um, I can't remember if it was 25 or 26 pounds. I don't really recall, but I think it was like 26. So that was my post for the week on Sunday. Happy Sunday. So Patty posted these, which were so cute. Look at this little guy fishing. If you don't know Patty Otto, she teaches on Blueprint. She has uh, patterns out for fleece and stuff like that. She, well, she has a lot of patterns out, but I always think of her for the fleece because she has that class. But look at how proud he is. So next Sunday, I always post photos of fishing. If it's a photo of fishing, it means I'm either on somebody else's boat or it's from a week ago that I forgot to post. So when I do that, if you guys have photos from you fishing, you have to share them because it just makes my day. It's so cute. So let's just see. I wanted to show you a couple of the new Linda tunics that came out. Uh, welcome, by the way, all the people that are in the Sewing Angela Wolf Patterns group. A slew of you came in this week, which is awesome. A lot of newbies. So here's a couple of reminders for you. Kai Scissors is offering a discount for their entire website until the end of the month. This is celebrating the fact that they are sponsoring me to come to Puyallup in Washington. So I hope to see some of you guys out there. I actually just talked to them, listed a bunch of classes. I can't give you the final on that yet. And Novi, I believe Novi classes opened up today. 
for those of you coming to Novi, Michigan, I, I will be there on Friday. I know originally I said no, but it was a change of plans. They called and I said, okay, why not? It's just on the other side of the state, <laughs> like four hours. So that's going to be on Friday. And those classes just opened up. I made sure they were different from last year. So those of you that come back each time, you'll know. All right, so where's the group here? Somebody post, okay, look. Look at this fabric. This was from Angie Hot. Is this Angie? Yeah, Angie Hot. Kids. Check this out. She always posts fun photos anyways. Let me make myself small. Wrong one. <laughs> look at this fabric. So if I had this right, she finished it for her mom. Is that right, Angie? I think you're at work still, but you I don't know if you can answer. This is so cute. So cute. And here's another close-up of the fabric. So it's funny how it looks different in different photos. She made this for their mom, for her mom. Don't tell my mom because she's going to want to. I still haven't even sent Julie her top. It's in the works, though. But she did such a cute job. And this made me think of something. Some of you had asked about the tab. I don't, Jan, if it was you. Oh, there you are, Angie. Um, I can't remember if it was Jan. Well, whoever asked me about the tab. It might have been Glenda or Birdie. It all rings together. Sorry, guys. But somebody asked about the tab. You can make the tab any size you want. But here's the trick. The tab starts up here. You know, it. you can see on the pattern where to start it. It's usually above your elbow. It might be different on you. You can move it wherever you need to. It comes down and folds back up to make your sleeve a roll. Okay? So that's pretty cool. Well, uh, the thing is, is that if you want to have a wider tab, maybe you want to, I mean, how cool would it be to embroider a whole line like this and use this as your tab? Just one of these. So I'll fold it in half so you can picture it. That whole embroidered piece could be a tab. Now, would that be cool or what? Yeah, so use your imagination. That could be embroidery on tool. It could be um, maybe embroidery on a strap. You could use decorative stitches. You could, oh gosh, you could embroider your name, although that would be kind of weird, but it could be your label. <laughs> but you get the idea. So uh, you could have anything from a half inch wide all the way up to about an inch wide. I don't think I'd go further than an inch just because it would start to crinkle. I mean, it would start to just pucker and it wouldn't lay right. So cut it whatever length you want to. And what you can do is pin it on the inside of your top, fold it up, and then measure it to customize it to yourself. Just an idea for you. If you do that, you might want, if you're going to go for the wider or the narrower with a thin fabric, make sure that you use a fusible interfacing in that because that really makes a difference. And it'll help it later on in case it wrinkles real bad. I hear him. I hear footprints. Oh, leather would be cool. Oh, thanks, Angie. Well, anyways, we love your top. It looks very cute. Oh, Marty says she likes the top, but she doesn't like to see the wrong side of the fabric. Well, here's a tip for you, Marty. Oh, and Marty, hopefully you're going to be on tomorrow's live show because I have a whole thing for you how to fix your collar. Because I know you're in the club. So I, I have that specifically for you. If you can't make it, you can watch the replay. Her collar was sticking up too high, and I'm going to show everybody how to do that alteration. So. Um, if you don't want to see the wrong side of the fabric on the sleeve, one thing that you can do, now on hers, you can't even tell that it's the wrong side of the fabric, which is really cool. Yeah, you can't tell at all. But what you could do is sew two sleeves and face, put wrong sides together and sew the sleeve together so when you roll it up, it's all the right size. If you don't want the whole sleeve to be two pieces, start about maybe right here. And have your outside sleeve and then your inside sleeve. And you could just do a nice top stitching right there. You won't even see it. And then fold it up. That would look nice too. So there's another idea for you. It, almost exactly what I said, Sandy, except you make it so much clearer. Just make it a tube. <laughs> All right, back to work. Bye, Angie. <laughs> oh, good, Marty. You'll be there. So you're first tomorrow. So don't forget that. All right, you guys. Well, that was a lot of fun. I Some of you asked what was going on over there. Um, I have a bunch of sewing machines set up on this top table. I was just testing to see. I'm just testing the layout of my room. I invited some friends over. We were sewing. 
four of us fit at that table over there. You hardly even knew that we were here. So that's kind of cool. I'm still getting the landscaping of what's going on here, but I got to get used to my new space. I know it's been a year. I get it, but <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> All right. If you guys don't have any more questions for me, I don't think, let me, you know what? There was one more thing on here I wanted to show you. Let's see if I can bring this up. I always try to take the page down while I'm searching just to make sure. Here we go. Jan's. Yes. I knew there was another one. Hold on here. So Jan has been making a ton of tops. Actually, quite a few of you have been. By the way, Susan, are you back from Hawaii or are you watching this on the airplane? I saw Reen was in here earlier. She's out on the West Coast teaching. Is anybody at Reen's one of her classes coming up? That girl's working everywhere. And who else is on the West Coast? Cindy. Cindy was over there in California. All right. This is Jan's top. This is really cute. Now, by the way, I don't mind the wrong side of the fabric on this coming out at all. It just adds a whole different texture. But I love this fabric. And the neckline looks great. Very cute. She's got her own labels going on there. Great top stitching. And that's very cute, too. That's from the North Carolina. All right, let's see. Oh, <laughs> this was, uh, Susan, Susan posted this, and I left it up there because it was hilarious. She said, when you go fishing next time, bring an action figure. If you can't tell, I think that uh, might be a perch, <laughs> and that's a little action figure. If I did that with some of the fish I've been catching, you guys would just be like, what on the world are you doing? <laughs> Okay, let's see. There was a couple more tops here. She's getting ready to cut this out. What does this mean right here? Can you see that okay? This. Well, it looks a little bit weird. I think she's on, she on, must be on the Delilah pattern, I'm guessing. Okay, when you have a seam allowance attached to each of your sides, if you were to sew a half of an inch and a half of an inch, it actually ends up being a point. So if you see something weird like that, all of my all of my patterns include a seam allowance. So when she was showing that, I wanted to mention that today because some of the patterns don't have seam allowances. I've received many questions, so I make sure I put it right on the first page, right on the website, and say, my mine includes seam allowances. I usually list the seam allowance right along the seam on the pattern and in the pattern booklet. Excuse me, I'm sneezing. I must be allergic to the squirrel. So that's what that is, in case you were wondering. Okay. And here's your laugh for the day. I didn't see who posted this. Oh, Melody did. I was cracking up. You see something like this, and it means go fishing, right? <laughs> All right. Well, I'll quit going through my fishing withdrawals, then I'm going to get back to sewing. I've got some exciting things to share with you guys over the next few weeks. It's so nice to be back in the studio working. And I look forward to seeing if you have any questions, you can leave them here. I always try to go back. Or if you haven't joined the Angela of Patterns group, that's totally free. Join us there. And those of you that want a little bit more and you want private live Q&As, join us on the Fashion Sewing Club. Our next Q&A is tomorrow at 11 a.m., but you can always catch the replay. Anita, will I be at the quilt show in Grand Rapids? Anita, is that this weekend? I'm thinking that's the 20. Oh, it's today, isn't it? So probably not. I don't think so. I have no plans to go there unless there's something great that I need to stop by for. Are you going to be there? I forgot. Usually I'm taping It's So Easy this week and I always miss the quilt show. In fact, one year I was going to stop and then I drove home and we were late getting up north. So I missed it. Another time I drove home, ended up with a migraine from staring at the sun for five hours. So I've never made that show, but I heard it's pretty good. So if I go, I'll be sure to let you know. <laughs> all right, Joyce, I'll see you tomorrow. All right, you guys, have a great week. For those of you not in the club, I will see all the rest of you next Wednesday for Behind the Scenes Live. And you never know, I might pop in one other time because I'm working on some fun things to share with you. All right, bye, you guys. Have a great day. Those of you on YouTube, thank you for watching there, too. See ya. Bye.